Welcome, friends, to the Weekend Truth number 70. Shifty Simon Parks is back again. He's trying to flog us these BioShields USB sticks. So let's take a closer look at these. He's got some special offer at the moment. And if you're a member of Connecting Consciousness, then you can get them for half price. Amazing. Now, on the 23rd, he released this video, which is a hour-long interview with the creator of this uh, BioShield thingamajig, who's called Jacques Bauer. And Jacques goes through this apparent um, scientific research study he's done, which is a double-blind placebo properly he tries to sort of sell it as a proper medical study but when you look into it a bit more deeply it doesn't seem to me to be all that scientific so just looking at some of the bits of the video this apparently is the uh, institute and health center where it was designed it goes on and talks about heart rate and how this is improved. But I don't think heart rate is really the best measure of health, is it? Improved health? It's one measure, but there are lots and lots of others, aren't there? There are some nice pie charts here, but I'm not really sure what they mean. And you'll get to see what I mean when we talk about the literature on their website and stuff. There, a lot of it's just fluff and it, it's quite meaningless really one thing that <laughs> there's some nice diagrams right you see this outline of a woman's body they claim to be able to photograph the magnetic aura this is what it says at the top portrait of the aura now i don't really know quite how they can photograph or measure this i really haven't heard about it before Put into the comments if you know that it's a real thing and supply the links and whatnot. Because the next thing is just as, uh, you know, can you really photograph people's chakras? I mean, I'm not sure chakras have really been anything other than a theoretical part of the body. I think it comes from Indian ways of thinking about things, May, maybe what they call Ayurvedic medicine or something like that. It's not uh, something that we consider in Western medicine. It talks about the body's meridians a bit later on as, as well. I listened to the entire hour. I've got a master's degree in a science subject, so I should know about what he's talking about. But I have to admit, I just don't know what he's talking about half the time. And I think on the whole, it's on purpose. I've never heard of anyone being able to photograph chakras. <laughs> it's very pretty, though. I mean, I like the rainbow and everything. <laughs> this is one of the things that this Jack Bauer guy said. He said that after using this uh, bio shield, this is the like a prick test of the people's blood. And that all the blood cells were sticking together, the platelets were all sticking together, what they call like a stack of coins formation. And then after using this, they were all separated again. Now, I don't want you to get me wrong. And this, every time I talk about anything to do with 5G or Wi Fi, people think I'm saying that there's no health threat at all from any of those things. So let me be totally clear. Yes. I think there is a health threat from Wi-Fi technologies and phone masks and all of that. I definitely think there is. The World Health Organization has had to concede that non-ionizing radiation is a potential carcinogen. They call it a type 2 carcinogen, which means that it can probably cause cancer. And things like the statistics on the numbers of uh, glioblastoma, which is a brain tumor, have increased rapidly since the invention of the mobile phone. So I totally agree that um, non-ionizing radiation is bad for your health. However, what I don't agree with is 
things like that this is a measure of anything much in particular. I certainly don't think you can photograph chakras. He went on and on and on and on. As you can see, this is 45 minutes long. And really, it just went on and on about nothing in particular that I could understand. So I decided I was going to have a quick surf around the internet and look what these things are. This is the uh, BioShield USB stick that these people are selling. As you can see, it has this bit here on the part of the USB stick near where it gets plugged into your computer. These are being sold at the cut price rate of 156 euros, cut down from 312 euros plus delivery costs if you use the special um, special code that uh, is given to you on the collecting consciousness thing. That said, this uh, BioShield USB looks terrible like just ordinary ones that you can get for a few quid. If you've got some spare time, go and have a look on Trustpilot at the reviews of it. These are hilarious. I mean, the ones that say that it's excellent are just as funny as the ones that say it's crap. This is one that gives it five stars. Don't believe the doubters. I once lived in terror of the evil 5G spirits, which made it difficult to leave the house. However, these days I simply insert the 5G bio shield into my personal pipe and go about my business. It may seem like an expensive ripoff, but can you really put a price on freedom? Thanks to the multi-pack offer, I can now store a spare in my personal bunghole to ensure full coverage at all times. You know, this is a scam. Do not buy. That's obviously a slightly more sincere review. I'd rather buy a hundred pounds of potatoes than this. <laughs> this is it's worth reading just for a laugh, really. Uh, this is just another example of the type of product. Really cheap, four quid. Uh, the description on their website as to what the BioShield does and how it works is um, the 5G BioShield makes it possible thanks to a uniquely applied process of quantum nanolayer technology to balance the imbalanced electric oscillations arising from all magnetoelectric fog induced by all devices such as laptops, cordless phones, WLAN, tablets, etc. Does that sound like a pile of shit to you? It sounds like it to me too. I don't even know what that means and that's probably because it doesn't mean anything. So let's go back to, <laughs> I did have a, a good rummage around on the old internet after this and I found this uh, article on the BBC website that said, Trading Standard Squad Targets Anti-5G USB Stick. Now the photo seems to have gone. Trading standards officers are seeking to halt sales of a device that has been claimed to offer protection against the supposed dangers of 5G by use of quantum technology. We don't know what quantum technology is, do we? I'm not sure the people that made it know what it is either, though. So on with the article. Cybersecurity experts say that the £339 5G BioShield appears to know appears to offer no more than a basic USB drive. We consider it to be a scam, Stephen Knight, Operations Director for London Trading Standards, told the BBC. He said his team is working with the City of London Police's Action Fraud Squad. They are seeking a court order to take down the company's website. 
People who are vulnerable need protection from this kind of unscrupulous trading, he added. Sorry, Stephen Knight, if you don't speak like this at all. The intervention follows an examination of the device which was first reported by the BBC. The vendor, BioShield Distribution, had previously said the device was backed by research, but has not responded to the latest development. Holographic nanolayer catalyzer. Woo! The rollout of the new 5G mobile networks began in the UK only last summer, but has not yet reached outside urban areas. Yet across the country, there is already a cottage industry offering protection against the supposed negative health effects, even though they have been dismissed by regulators and mainstream scientists. The 5G BioShield was recommended by a member of Glastonbury Council's 5G Advisory Committee, which has called for an inquiry into 5G. I agree there should be an inquiry into 5G. I think a lot of my listeners will agree that. But stuff like this doesn't really do us much good, does it? It makes us look like a bunch of crazy hippies. Anyway, one of nine external members, Toby Hall, said, we use this device and find it helpful, and provided a link to its website, which describes it as a USB key that provides protection for your home and family, thanks to the wearable holographic nanolayer catalyzer, which can be worn or placed near to a smartphone or any other electrical, radiation or EMF emitting device. And then it goes on and on in the manner much described by me before. Dooby dooby doos, boring bits. Uh, so they had somebody take this apart. Ken Monroe from company Pentest Partners. So what's different between it? and a virtually identical crystal USB key available from the various suppliers in Shenzhen, China, for around £5 a key, asks Ken Munro. And the answer appears to be a circular sticker. Now, we're not 5G quantum experts, but said sticker looks remarkably like one available in sheets from stationery suppliers for less than a penny each, he says. Thanks, Ken. That's useful information. Mr. Monroe and his colleague Phil Everly proceeded to dismantle a USB key to find out if there were any whiz-bang electronics inside, but all they found was an LED light on the circuit board, similar to those on any other USB key. Their conclusion was that trading standards bodies should carry out their own investigations. So, this um, sticker has appears to have been peeled off rather easily by the investigators, Mr. Munro and co. Mr. Hall, this is the guy from Glastonbury Town Council, said he thought it was a good product and he said, I also felt a calmer feel to the home and he had more interesting dreams and slept better since having it. It's amazing what the placebo effect can do, really. So anyway, that completes this investigation into the ripoff BioShield product. And I I suppose Simon Parks is yet again going to sue us all for saying about this. Sorry, Simon, I think this is a fraudulent thing. It does seem to be that it's nothing more than just a normal USB stick and goes along with your constant uh, offers to free people of their demonic or evil psychic attachments and that weird stuff that you do. I mean, I hope with the money that you're getting from this, that you're making sure that Becky's cellar is a bit more comfortable for her. Uh, 